Right. I, I don't know if we kept touch if we finished up on this, but uh, can I continue with what I was trying to say on Proverbs sixteen four? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. apparently I looked into it a bit, and apparently some uh, um, in the commentary from uh, John Gill, where he touches on the day of evil, or some literally refers to it, evil day, is the day of wrath and ruin unto which wicked men are reserved by the appointment of God. Agreeably, the Targum, Septuagint, the Syriac, and the, Ara and the Arabic versions uh, agree with this consensus. And if some of y'all aren't familiar, the Septuagint was the uh, version that the apostles used when they went preaching the gospel when it came to the, the Old Testament. It was the Greek Septuagint. And this is the true... Uh, this is true of wicked angels, wicked men in particular, of that wicked one, the man of sin, and son of perdition, Antichrist. The word here used in the singular number. So it seems that even older translations and uh, manuscripts and versions held firm to the idea that what we're seeing is a passage referring to wicked, the, as uh, Proverbs 16, verse 4, and I'm reading from the NIV, and it says the day of the dead. Or the day of evil, the Lord works out everything to its proper end, even the wicked, for the day of evil, or as the NIV says, the day of disaster. So it seems that the manuscripts themselves, in their sense, uh, have held to this idea that what Proverbs 16.4 is saying. You do realize there's a difference between what it says and what it means. <laughs> yeah, why don't you tell me what it means? This is exactly what I've been trying to say in the past. Tell and me what and it so means. real always denies that. He wait, says, wait, wait, oh, no, no, that's not what we say. That's well, exactly on. what you just said. All right, hold on. Pre tell me what it means. No, I said to you. No, tell me what it means. You're saying I don't know. I told you what I said. I'm looking at it and told you what it means from my perspective. Now, tell me, what does it mean? Proverbs. 16. Exactly. Okay, let me Proverbs. open up the Proverbs one. Proverbs 16, verse 4. There's also a verse in Job, too. There's there's several, several, several. And I'm using an NIV, so don't say I'm using a Calvinistic Bible. This is a very <laughs> uh, liberal type of Bible right here. I wouldn't say liberal. And, uh, NIV, it's... I actually don't read the NIV. NIV changes a lot of things. Like I said, because it tr its purpose is to fit uh, with all denominations as a loose translation. But even I, then, other, I think, it's, it has nah, I would it has, beg to differ. It's kind of a sweeping generalization. Because when you say that, it changes a lot of things. Only the like I guess mm -hmm. Zondervan is a publication, and they have different publications for the NIV. But Zondervan's, I, to my knowledge, Zondervan's is the only one who was guilty of of that. To, but to say like the NIV as a translation changes a lot of things is kind of that's pretty pretty broad. Yeah, I mean, to say it changes, it didn't necessarily change. It just went with what the manuscripts say. So, like First John five seven. Uh, okay. Well, I'll I don't show think you she, something. I, Hang on. I, I don't think she meant that. I think she meant that because one one of the more recent publications, I think it was two thousand five or something like that. They actually they had certain words that were were altered in the NIV from from past NIV translations. And well, no, no NIV translation right. nowadays is as good as it was back in 1984 when it was um, – the, the last good NIV was 1984. And then they came out with the, ah. the Today's New International Version earlier this century, which was a big flop because it was liberal in every respect. Right, right, they, right, right. Yeah. They, uh, in 2011, they finally revised it to the, the more recent NIV, um, but it kept a lot of the same flavor that the Today's New International Version had. So – it's not the best, 